Where's your head with this, Graham? Um, Jesse Marsh, where is he always going to be on a, on a bit of an uphill struggle following Bielsa, who many of the fans still love? And admire. Yeah, definitely, but I have to say it, Bielsa, if he had stayed in post, I think they would have gone down. You know, he wasn't for shifting and he's the way he wanted to play football, which I have to say I really enjoyed. I mean it was flying with a what's the term by the seat of your pants? Yeah. I mean it was You score I mean, three, was, we'll get four. It was kamikaze football. Yeah. But it was really entertaining. Um but it wasn't being successful. So they make the change. Whoever was going to get that job would find it difficult. It, you know, he kept him up. And then it's been a poor start to the season, so the pressure's on. Uh, uh, Leeds, are, Leeds are a fabulous football club, been in the doldrums for a very long time. Hard place, you know, in my time in football when I was a, when I was playing, hard place to go and dig a result out. Hostile atmosphere, hostile crowd. You know, they got after you. Um, but right now, they're in trouble. And, yeah. and you know, yeah. what dictates the situation? Not at Leeds, but anywhere. The board can come out and say they're right behind the manager, vote of confidence. They have to say that at that given time. But what dictates the outcome is what the crowd's attitude to it. You know, if they're continuously, continuously singing, you're getting sacked in the morning, booing, a few demonstrations, you know, a few mm. um, like signs up in the, the crowd, you know, people writing things. Like they also bed somebody else a chance yeah. as well. Yeah. That, that just adds to the pressure. Doesn't and, help. And then, and then, you know, I think sometimes the managers need saving from from themselves. Yeah. The guy sounds a, a good guy. He's frosty. He's aggressive. You need a bit of that to survive in professional sport. But I'm not sure that's enough for him. See, the thing is, as Graham says, Simon. Yeah, hostile crowd. They get they yeah. get on the back of the opponent. Intimidating they, environment. Intimidating environment. Yeah. But if it's a winning Leeds team, they can only benefit from that. Sure. But it's not. But it's not. And there's always that narrative, and it's an underlying narrative. When you put an American manager in a dugout, they start with a default setting of they don't know what they're talking about, they're thinking of Bob Bradley, and it starts from that position, he's got to overcome it. And they start from the position of Ted Lasso and Mickey taking and stuff like that. I mean, I thought Leeds against Palace were really, really good for the first 35 minutes, and Palace were quite lucky to go in at half-time, you know, having equalised. And some of the games they've played, I mean, they were dreadful against Brentford when they got spanked 5 2. And the only, ju- I mean, they stayed up by the skin of their teeth. They couldn't that have left a, it. That Brentford wasn't The last, last game of the season. season, they managed to dig a result out in the last minute at Brentford um, to keep themselves in the Premier League. So, of all those things, I mean, you would expect with the ownership model that's there, and this guy that owns Leeds is as smart as paint. He really is. He's like a, Yeah, he is. Um, and the American investment that's coming alongside him, you would have expected him to kick on. A lot of people that I know, um, are very big Leeds fans um, one of them quite an influential Leeds fan and they thought Bielsa was done it was a necessity it wasn't a popular necessity but it was a necessary evil to serve a greater good they were going to get relegated they had to make a change mm. and they could have gone down nobly and they could have gone down and listened to the fans singing Bielsa's name they wouldn't have listened to the fans singing Bielsa's name they'd have listened to the fans screaming, crying and bitching and whining about getting relegated they would have been sacked the board so, and that's what they're now beginning to say now apparently if you listen to the, if, if I'm, what I'm reading is the case which mm. is laughable sacked the board and replaced them with precisely whom this is an enormous football club that was out of the Premier League unbelievably for 17 years. What is surprising is that they haven't kicked on, they haven't pushed on in financial terms, and I'm not suggesting they should do because it's their money, they spend it how they want to, but I would have anticipated that Leeds would have pushed on. They've lost some significant players. Bamford's become a bit of a bit-part player because of his injury, and when he is fit, he makes a big difference to them. But I don't think Leeds, as results, sometimes are reflective of their performances. But if you look at the results over the last four or five games, if this continues much longer, yeah. he's gone. He will be gone. See, what yeah. happens when yeah. you're not winning games, it chips at the confidence. You know, the boys yeah. listen to our programme, they listen to other people, they read what goes on in the newspaper. The confidence is slowly but surely eroded. And then that stops you being the player that you can be. Sure. Look at the quality I, taken out of their team, though. I mean, I'm not giving people passes... You know, Rafinha's gone, and he was a key component. You know, the boy that's gone to Chelsea, Phillips has gone, and they've not really... Man repla- City. To Man City, sorry. They've yeah. not really replaced them with anything vaguely resembling the same quality but that's I been sold. I think you're spot on, Simon. You know a good owner when you see one. Radrizani is that. And I feel he deserves better after the, the somewhat controversial figure, shall we say, of Massimo Cellino. Well, I don't... I mean, I, listen, this is me speaking from background. and As I've said before, the two biggest commodities in football are gossip and money. And the the idea that Radrazani is a popular character in Leeds is for the birds. 
he's not particularly popular from what At I understand. Time, you mean. But you know what? I don't believe in... I think there's two kinds of people in this world. There's popular people and successful people. It's amazing how popular you become when you're successful. Right, right now, leads are in the success seat. But whatever way you look at it, this guy... Drag Bielsa into Leeds, paid him an absolute barrel load of money in the championship, fours and five a million pound a year to manage a team in the championship, dragged them out of there. It's now about the here and now. And Leeds as a football club is one of those football clubs, not because of Don Revy, not because of other situations, but because when you go there and you see Ellen Road, it's one of those football stadiums that puts the hairs on the back of your neck and it is entitled to be a big football club, but it does need to have proper management of a dugout. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure... This guy has the chops. Would it. this Leeds board be a brave board if they listen to the fans here? Um, well, they'd be a weak board if the only focus they make is what the fans tell them. They need to make it for themselves. They need to have their own you, judgment. You think Marsh is in borrowed time, right? I, I think at this moment in time, unless there's a huge... 90 degree turn I, I think the team are playing for him Graham aren't they I don't think there's any yeah. doubt that the players are playing for him I just don't is think it, necessarily they're good enough what surprise for Leeds survival yes at all well, costs the way they've started yeah, yeah. but it, it's difficult it, 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 you know you're talking about the most demanding league in the world look at the big teams that are down there you know until yes, the other day Villa were down there could still drop back yeah Wolves are down there yeah you know it, it's it, Leeds are a big football club but you're not entitled to anything. It's not the script, though, is it, for Leeds and Eston Villa? The script that we're reading right now is not the script that either the owners, the fans, or the media would have envisaged. Maybe the media for Leeds because yeah. of the decline at the back end of but, last season, possibly. But come on, you've been an owner. You, how it you know how it works. I've been a manager. I know how it works. You know, you can talk about Leeds playing good football and deserve more from you've the games. Win. You've got to win yeah. games. And the board have to support the manager... And two's unsupportable. Until the point comes where the, the heat's either coming on you or it's being it's having a detrimental effect on the players where every game is a you know is a grind because of the yeah. negative noises coming from the support. And and right now he is he is fighting for his life. Here's a test manager. for them. Liverpool at Anfield next. Yes, Anfield's not the place. Not much of a test <laughs> at the moment, year, is it? This year they're they're huffing and puffing a bit. But Liverpool uh, leads at any time of the day or night was a big, big yeah, picture, yeah. wasn't it? Historically, yeah, it was, it was one of the biggest, along mm. with the United game. But um, as I said earlier, to Anfield is never an easy place to go on and try and play football and win matches so for think, anyone. You don't think they'll get anything out of that? No. It'll be interesting to see how many casualties and how many situations resolve themselves during the World Cup break. Because it's this, it's, the, it's this unique impasse that football's not seen where managers can be taken out, owners, a month break in the middle mm. of a season that people can sit there and go, right, I'll tell you what, I won't make a decision. I'll take it up to the World Cup. If he falls on his sword during that period of time, out he goes. I've got a month yeah. to survey the landscape with no background noise. Yeah. I'll tell you what we'll do, Sam. We'll put it out this way. Leeds United fans, how many of you out there still support Marsh? If so, Why? Give us a call on that, 03717-223344-81089. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.